Good evening, my name is Tom. And my name is Rachel. And, w- and welcome to the Mary Eye New Show, the only show dedicated to making college life that little bit easier for you. We are, we are your hosts today for the programme and we are broadcasting live here at Mary Macaulay College. In today's programme we will be exploring the top class services and societies available for all students here at Mary Eye. Our first topic this evening is the Shomer Kadarv. Gaelge is one of the most popular subjects taken in Mary Eye with over 400 BA students studying the language. However, it is also a quite difficult subject for the majority of students. With this in mind, many should be aware of the availability of the Shomer Kadarv, a room dedicated to the discussion and upkeep of the Irish language and culture. Whether for the enhancement of spoken Irish or just to share Kupal Fuckle, the Irish speaking student should come on down to the Shomer. Students who visit the Shomer Kadarv on a regular basis have seen a rise in the grades and more comfortable understanding of the language. The serious nature of Irish lectures and tutorials may shed a negative light on the subject, but the friendly, laid-back nature of the Shoma Kadarv invites all Irish students to come down, have a cup of tea, share thoughts and ideas, and above all else, have a bit of crack with friends through Gaelga. Since the Shoma Kadarv was opened back in 2010 by the Students' Union, an average of 30 students actively take part in the Shoma Gatlaw. With the importance of Gaelga in all modules, from arts to teaching, a rise in the Shomra is expected to be seen in the future. The Shomra Kadarv has become a vital part of the college for many students and the Shomra undoubtedly will remain an active hub for the future. On a similar note, traditional music has a huge following within the college. We sent our reporter, Potter Glines, around the campus to find out more on the Mirai Trad Society. Trad music is a huge part of people's lives today and is no different here in Mirai. There are many societies within the college and one of the most popular being that of the Music Society which was established over 12 years ago and has over 40 members. We trekked down to the Shawn McCodroof to find out a little bit more. I took up the fiddle at around the age of 9 was that? I'd say so. And then 10 years I've been playing the fiddle so. I've been pretty much the same but the cantina of course. And what about Finnessy's and its link with the society? Finnessy's every Wednesday night Good old sessions there now, blaring out the tunes. Um, sure, it's a great social life. Finnessy's is an integral part of the music society within the college. Not only does it give people a chance to express themselves through their music, but also gives them a chance to meet new people from all walks of life and helps people escape from the stress and pressures of college. Well, music has always been a massive part of my life from an early age, and I'd say it'll remain that way, like... I'm going to be playing tunes till I'm 100, should I reach it? Well, music has given us lots of opportunities, especially to travel. We've gone to Philadelphia, which was mighty crack, and then we went to Sweden uh, with a group of musicians. It has really helped to form our lives, in a sense, uh, regarding friendships. And also, when you're feeling down or stressed, all you have to do is take out the concertina and start, you're happy out for the rest of the day. So if you're interested in traditional music in the college, call down to Finnessy's for crack, kjol and the cleaning every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock or check out the Mary Eye Child Society Facebook page for more information. This is Party Lines reporting for Mary Eye News. Back to you in the studio. Our next topic tonight takes us out of the studies and into the gene. Recent Purdue University studies show students who work out and exercise achieve better grades in their studies. Undoubtedly, to achieve academically, it is vital for students to be healthy and active. Here in Mary Eye, we are very fortunate to have a top class gym available to us, 9 to 10 p.m. daily. The Talton Building is the home of some top-notch facilities, boasting a rates room, two indoor soccer courts, a basketball court, three volleyball courts, six badminton courts, and of course, a student favourite, the table tennis facilities. The sports halls and the gym are a hub of sporting activities. Thankfully, the accessibility of the gym is made incredibly easier with a very minimal charge of €2 euro per person. In comparison to UL, which is, has, has a charge of €5 euro per session, this is a very reasonable sum. When you take into account that other colleges apply a fixed charge per semester, that amounts to a very large sum of money to be paid by students. The Talton is a breath of fresh air. Multiple treadmills, rowing machines, free weights and various cross trainers all of the highest quality are found here. After a brief safety introduction, which is compulsory for the Talton users to ensure the highest safety conditions are achieved, students are free to use the facilities. 
The laid-back environment in Mary Eye Gym entices students of both genders and all fitness levels to come along and take a break from the books for an hour or two. This is another in a list of many examples of the way Mary Immaculate College looks after its students, both academically and leisurely. So pop down to the gym, pump some iron, get into shape and become as fit as a fiddle. We go to our reporter, Kieran, with college tips that are sure to get you through the year easier and far more efficiently. Over to you, Kieran. Thanks, Tom. And let's dive straight into it. We have three tips for you today. Tip one, are you struggling with bookstore prices? Why not modernize and buy them online? Websites such as Amazon, eBay, and Unibook, just to name a few, all have prices for books marked 50% down. That's on average. Save a bundle this way uh, for the other things you might get up to. Now, tip two, don't rely on all-nighters. Seriously, guys, this will just mess you up. The National Academy's press actually found that this decreases brain power, which is a big no-no for your tests. Instead, try schedule your time good. I don't want to be that guy, but you're, you'll thank me uh, in the long run. Tip three, learn to cook people. Ordering out sounds great, but too much can leave you with empty pockets and a serious need for the Telton. That's all our tips for today, and remember, our aim is to make your life that little bit easier. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kieran. This time of year, the Writer Society put on their hit and miss production. We will now go to Cloda for more information about the show. The Arts of Mary Eye, you just can't escape it. Our hall is packed with an exciting artistic flair with works of artists, actors and writers everywhere. One creative society in Mary Eye showing more promise every year is the Writer Society, who are putting on their annual Hit and Miss production. We decided to investigate. Hit and Miss is an annual uh, production by Mary Eye's Writer Society. It is performed every semester, and each semester we have a new set of plays. Hit and Miss is a series of four short plays written, directed, produced and acted by students. It's held once a semester. I got involved in Hit and Miss of second semester last year. There was auditions for actors and I just kind of went for it and I've been involved ever since. Uh, the play I'm involved in is called Shershila Femme and is written by Nico Winters and directed by Kira Buckley. Um, I'm playing a girl called Charlotte who I'm very excited about. She's I'd like to think she's different than me because she's very grumpy and cross the world and she's very down and out about herself and she's a musician. Did you meet her? Huh? You know, watch her face. That's very helpful. This is my third semester involved in Hit Miss. The last two semesters I've been stage manager, so working backstage. Um, so I'm in the first musical that's been put on through Hit and Miss. It's about a dysfunctional family who have lots of disagreements. I am the grumpy teenage daughter, we'll say, who goes to college. Hit and Miss is growing in popularity year by year. With this growing existence, many have set their eyes on the ultimate prize to perform in the Lime Tree Theatre. With tickets already being sold in the box office, this seems likely this dream could become reality. So why should you join in in our growing production? I'd highly recommend trying Hit and Miss as it's so much fun to do. You get to meet so many great people. You get to try, even if you don't feel like acting, you can help out backstage. You get to try writing scripts for if you want. You get to direct. It gives so many people new opportunities to try different things in theatre. Um, it's also great for just meeting up with friends. After the last night, there's always a party. So it's, it's a bit of crack, a bit of crack. I would definitely recommend Hit and Miss to other people. It gives you experience um, backstage, on stage, whatever you have an interest in. Um, also, it gives you a chance to make new friends and get to know people, and it definitely helps your confidence as well. Hit and Miss is a fun experience growing in interest every year. Why not come down and try your hand at acting? Or maybe channel your inner Shakespeare and check out the Writer's Society every Monday at 6 or their Facebook page. This is Cloda for Mary Eye News. I bet you're a great actor, Rachel. Oh, please. Anyways, the final of today's topics is to do with something most students think about throughout the whole day. Yes, you guessed it, food. The improvement in the range of food available in the canteen 
as well as the advancement in the quality of the nutrition on offer, has been of great benefit to the students. Also, the introduction of the wrap bar has given more diversity for those who enjoy a lighter bite to eat. Since the start of this semester, a noticeable rise in the amount of students enjoying a lunch in the canteen has been seen and that is down to no small part by the new and improved canteen. The wrap bar alone has shown an increase in the profits. A 25% increase was made by the canteen since the opening of the new bar in September. This year's newest addition to the menu sees a freshly made stir fry and curry stand where excellent chefs prepare the food with skill and precision right in front of our very own eyes. As well as that, the low cost of these high quality lunches makes it more student friendly and affordable. Lectures and assignments can take a lot out of students, both mentally and physically, but with such a high quality canteen available to them from 9 to 5 p.m. daily, their brains and bodies are sure to be fuel fueled with wholesome foods to maximize their studying potential. To wrap this piece up, the days of carotene those ham sandwiches and tinfoil are all but over thanks to the top class canteen that is presented here in the college. So that's the end of our show today. I hope you enjoyed it and have the information needed to help you become a happier and healthier student. If you want more, join us back here at the usual time of 6 o'clock next week or catch up on the Mary Eye News Player on the college website. That's it for me, Rachel. And me, Tom. Good evening. Good night.